Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about a wholesome cultural anime. If you like vanilla and Fortnite Battle Royale, then you should watch this anime. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friends. The story begins when the female main character, Yuri, is running on the hallway like a titan. In the meantime, there are a few people gathered in the club room, and this blonde girl, Sayaka, seems to be very angry. It seems like she is mad at Yuri for being late. After that, this ponytailed girl, Riko, asks Sayaka to calm down and stop acting like she is having PMS all the time. That definitely crushed her ego, and she got very angry. She even tries to tell them about herself, and Riko politely asks her to shut the fuck up. This girl with glasses, Fumika, and the male main character, Mikashiba, are role-playing as NPC and ignore her. When she is going to start a ruckus, Yuri suddenly opened the door and declared that they are going to make a cultural game. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she is the one who gathered all of them here. After that, <laughs> Fumika wants to know if she is not joking about that. Yuri assured her that she is dead serious on making this game. <laughs> She stated that he is going to become the main pillar for this project. He did not see that coming, but he will definitely be coming later. Riko is interested in that, and she asked Yuri about the genre of the game. She told Riko that she will work on that later. After hearing that, Riko is so done with her, and Fumika also roasted Yuri for the meme. <laughs> After all of that, she told them that all of them are free to go, except for him, because he is the main character. They wished him good luck and left the club room. It seems like they knew that he is going to deal with her bullshit alone. Anyways, she wants him to join her and make the ultimate cultural game. He rejects her, but she rejects his rejection. In addition, she told him that she is going to make the game using his art. She took out a sketchbook and stated that she accidentally found it. That sketchbook actually belongs to him, and he lost it a few days ago. She told him that she accidentally found the sketchbook in his locker, so she took it, and that is not considered as stealing. Not gonna lie, that is some next level life hack right there. You guys can use that in real life too, and tell me how it goes. He is so done with her logic, and chose to stay quiet instead. Anyways, she told him that she has achieved enlightenment when she saw his cultural art. It was at that moment that she knew that he is the chosen man of culture. Despite that, he is still hesitating on making the game with her. After that, she gave him a kiss so he can make the decision using his 200 IQ Excalibur instead. <laughs> That caught him off guard, but she is a woman in 2023, so she cannot be cancelled. Anyways, she told him that they are going to do a live-action movie based on his drawings. As I said before, he did not see that coming, but he will be coming later. She starts to clean his Excalibur the eco-friendly way. She is role-playing as a vacuum cleaner, and she is cleaning his Excalibur like her life depends on it. She should change her name to Dyson since her suction power is over 9,000. After a while, he wants to pay her with international currency. However, she stopped the transaction and told him that it is not time yet. She wants him to save his protein for later. After that, she is using her huge organic homegrown melons to marinate his Excalibur. Well, it all makes sense now. She actually wants to drink some fruity protein shake instead. After a while, he couldn't hold back anymore and used fruity protein blast. She seems to be satisfied with it and start to play the game of the year, the one and only Piston Simulator 2023. She is actually trying her best to play the game, and he gave her a lot of protein shake as a reward. So, After seeing her gameplay, he knew about her unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability to create this game, so he agrees to help her out. After that, he told her that his artwork are not his original idea, and he got his reference from somewhere else. She has no idea what is he talking about, so he showed her a cultural web novel on his phone. When she looked at it, she seems to recognize the author of that novel.
On the next day, when Fumika is preparing to go home, Yuri suddenly called out to her and informed her about the club meeting. Fumika refused her and informed her that she is not interested in making cultural game. Yuri expected her response, so she asked him to give her something. Since this is not America and there is not enough freedom, she does not have to worry about firearm. Anyways, it is a notebook, Hi, and she gave it to Fumika. No, what? <laughs> when she is reading it, she seems to be very surprised. After seeing her reaction, Yuri has confirmed about her true identity as Shoryuki, and she is a web novel writer. After that, Fumika avert her gaze to him, and he quickly apologized to her. Although her secret has been found out, she still does not forget to roast Yuri for the meme. Moving on, Fumika saw a cultural illustration, and she wants to know who drew it. Yuri told her he is the one who drew it, and he is tasked with creating art for their game. After all of that, Fumika has no choice but to go to the club room. At the club room, both Fumika and him are there, and the situation is very awkward. He has no idea what to say at that moment. Meanwhile, she is very frustrated, since he is very talented, and he can draw such amazing art from her story alone. Despite that, she also feels happy since someone has created illustration from her novel. As a result, she felt very conflicted about this issue. After that, she wants to have a talk with him. That scared the crap out of him, and he quickly apologized to her for creating illustration without her permission. She told him that she is not angry, instead she is glad that someone managed to draw such amazing art. In addition, she also wants to know how can he draw that well. He told her that he couldn't remember, so she wants to help him out by doing some cultural stuff with him. You guys can do that in real life too if you have memory loss. 9 out of 10 doctors hate them for learning this trick. Anyways, he tries to reject her, but his 200 IQ Excalibur is already ready for battle. So, she viewed that as him giving her his consent. After that, she also starts cleaning his Excalibur the climate-friendly way, because environment and hygiene are very important. Anyhow, she is giving it her all to clean his Excalibur. As a result, he gave her a lot of international currency to reward her for her effort. I will do that to my editor too as a reward for being hardworking. Moving on, she also wants to drink some fruity protein shake. After she got her daily dose of protein shake, she gave him unrestricted access to her dungeon. After exploring her dungeon for a while, she released a lot of holy water while he gave her a lot of fresh organic protein shake. By the way, he is not wearing any protective gear when exploring both Yuri's and Fumika's dungeon because he is a Sigma. After the protein time is over, she suggested that both of them should work together to create light novel together. At the same time, she wants to ditch Yuri. He is the protein man, and the protein man is a gentleman, so he refused her offer. In the meantime, there is a hidden camera, and this means that Rico has watched their protein time in 4K. <laughs> On the next day, both Fumika and him are in the club room again, and they are working on the game. In the meantime, Rico is role-playing as Snake from Metal Gear, so she is hiding in a cardboard box and spying on them in 4K. After a while, Fumika has finished her work, and she informed him that she is going home. <laughs> He seems to be sad because there is no protein time today. <laughs> Rico felt the same too, and she broke out of her box to scold him for being a puss. She is hoping to watch another live-action movie by them. He suddenly realized that their protein time yesterday has been found out. 
She told him that she has placed hidden camera in the club room, and as usual, she is a woman in 2023, so she cannot be canceled. After that, she wants him to take responsibility for absolutely no reason. She told him that she has crafted a prototype Excalibur, but she is not satisfied with her handiwork since she still hasn't seen the real Excalibur. As a result, she wants to see his Excalibur for business purposes. <laughs> He told her that he is not able to call forth his Excalibur if he is not excited. It seems like she has come prepared and prepared to come. She took out another holy relic and she wants to test it out on him. She wants him to play Bird Box Simulator while she attached the holy relic to his Excalibur. As a result, its power is too much for him and he almost used Protein Blast in a few seconds. She is very satisfied with her holy relic, and she removed it from him. After that, as the standard operating procedure, she starts to clean his Excalibur the environmental-friendly way. After a while, he gave her a lot of international currency, and she gulped down all of it like the editor. However, she is not a true Epicurean, so she does not know how to savor and truly appreciate the intricate tapestry of a well-produced protein shake. What a coincidence, she is also the same as the editor too. Moving on, after she got her protein-rich energy supplement, she is ready to play Bouncing Simulator 2023 on him. She even let him taste her homegrown melons in return. In the end, he gave her a lot of protein shake to reward her effort. After the protein time is over, she is very satisfied with his protein production skill and his cultural art. Therefore, she has decided to join them to make the game too. Despite that, he does not show any emotion because he is a Sigma and that pissed Rico off. Anyhow, this means that the only one left is Sayaka, and Yuri is on her way to recruit her. When Yuri reached Sayaka's home, she keeps spamming the doorbell since no one is answering the door. That pissed Sayaka off, so she opened the door. When she saw Yuri at the door, she immediately closed the door. However, Yuri has some sort of power, and she dashed toward the door in less than a second and blocked the door with her foot. Sayaka got mad at her for visiting her. However, Yuri managed to teleport into her house. After that, she went to her room and enters it because screw privacy. It seems like Yuri knew that Sayaka is a live streamer. Well, she is not your typical live streamer, she is actually a singer. Sayaka got very angry at her, but there is not much she can do since her secret has been exposed. <laughs> Yuri informed her that she has a job for her. At school, Sayaka called him to meet her at the music club room. After that, she showed him a YouTube channel and told him that it belongs to her. In addition, she told him that her channel is growing now, so she needs his help. He does not know how to help her regarding music, but she wants him to help her with his art instead. She wants him to draw a stream avatar for her channel, and she is going to use that for her live stream. What a surprise. She actually said that he is not going to do that for free. She will repay his favor by doing anything that he wants. He knew that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so he wants her to become his model for his drawing. He showed her his cultural art, and she is having a second thought. <laughs> However, he has the charisma of Protein Man, so he managed to persuade her to become his model in the end. After that, she removed her outer protective gear, and he immediately checked out her melons in the name of art. He even drank some holy water directly from her holy canal to get inspiration. I guess I will do that too to get some inspiration. Anyways, after he got his daily dose of inspiration, he starts to explore her dungeon to get more inspiration. After exploring her dungeon for a while, he gave her a lot of protein shake. As expected, that is still not enough for him, so he 360 no scope her dungeon from behind and keep giving her a huge load of fresh organic protein shake. After that, he has attained post-protein enlightenment and he quickly apologized to her for giving her too much protein. 
He promised her that he will draw as many stream avatar as she like. After listening to that, she is not angry anymore and asked him to keep his promise. <laughs> Anyhow, the team is now complete, and they start to work on the game in the club room. Despite that, the work is too much for them, and four of them couldn't handle the workload. After that, Yuri told them that she will find more members for their game creation team. For unknown reason, I guess those new members will be women, since women are strong and independent in 2023. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has two episodes only, and it was last released in 2022, so I hope they will release episode 3 in the future. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation in this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.